YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much! Hello students, happy learning! Our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first convert units of capacity or volume in metric to English system and English to metric system and solve real life problems involving the conversion of the units. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag Curriculum or Mathematics Quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start! So ngayon, kung hindi pa po natin na ma-master yung ating lesson about metric system and English system conversion, pwede natin balikan yung ating YouTube channel para panoorin po. So let's have the summary of equivalences between units of capacity capacity or volume. So meron tayong unit conversion factors for capacity or volume na kailangan natin matandaan. So we have 16.39 milliliters is equal to 1 cubic inch. Next, we have 1.06 quarts is equal to 1 liter and 3.79 liters is equal to 1 gallon. So from this conversion factors, meron tayong tinatawag na unit fraction. Para saan ba yung unit fractions na to? Para ma-convert or ma-change natin yung given unit sa another unit. So from this, we can say that it is 16.39 ml over 1 cubic inch or pwedeng balik na rin, 1 cubic inch is over 16.39 ml. Pangalawa po, pwede natin sabihin na 1.06 quarts over 1 liter. Or we have to say that 1 liter over 1.06 quarts. And the last one is 3.79 liters over 1 gallon or 1 gallon over 3.79 liters. So meron po tayong option or pagpipilian para nakadepende po doon sa unit na i-change natin. So with that, tandaan po natin yung mga unit fractions na ito. So ngayon, let's convert number 1. 4.88 cubic inches to milliliters. So remember, the write the equation first and then you have to set a pattern. Kailangan ma-master po natin ito. Since the number given units, iba, from cubic inches, gagawin mo siyang or papalitan mo, i-convert mo siya ng ml. So, ano unit fraction kaya ang aking ilalagay sa parenthesis? Pero take note ha, yung cubic inches dapat nasa denominator para makancel mo. At numerator nandun yung ml. So, we have to use the 16.39 ml over cubic inch. Kaya nga, we have to set up and then cancel the same unit, yung cubic inches. And then you can now multiply. What is 16.39 ml times 4.88? That is how many? Very good. You got it. That is correct. 79.98 ml. Nakaround up po yan sa two decimal places or hundreds place value. So, ibig sabihin, yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. So, we have to say that 79.98 ml ay may katumba siya na 4.88 cubic inches. Sa reality, no, sa araw-araw natin, kailan makita na po natin to Let's say, bumili ka ng tipid pack, yung Baguio Pure Coconut Oil. So, ang capacity, ang net content or capacity po nito ay may 80 ml. Pag niround up mo kasi yung 79.98, approximate that is 80 ml. Yun yung ating coconut oil. So, let's have number two. How many cubic inches are there in 500 milliliters. So remember, write the equation first and then set up pattern. Since the number given units mo, diba, from ml, i-convert mo siya ng cubic inch. And that is set up and then what unit fraction you are going to put inside the parenthesis. But take note, ha, yung ml po dapat nasa denominator para makancel mo at cubic inches nasa numerator mo or taas. So gagamitin po natin yung 1 cubic inch over 16.39. Para makancel mo ngayon yung same unit na ml and then you can now multiply. 1 cubic inch times 500, 500 cubic inch yon. I-divide mo by 16.39. Ilan ngayon yon? Very good. That is correct. 30.51 cubic inches. So yan ngayon yung ating number equivalent units. Nakaround up po yan na sa two decimal places. Sa makatuwid po, si 30.51 cubic inches ay may katumba siya na 500 ml. So in real life, di ba, pag bumibili tayo araw-araw yan sa, ng ating Wilkins or kahit anong bottled water. So ito po ay 500 ml. Biruin nyo, ito po ay 18 pesos na ngayon. So mahal na yung tubig. 
Okay, kaya wag pong sayangin. So, let's have number three. How many liters are there in 3.17 quarts? So, remember, write the equation and then set up pattern. Since the number given units, di ba? From quarts, gagawin mong liters. So, what unit fraction you are going to put inside the parentheses para makancel mo yung quarts, kailangan yung quarts nasa denominator or baba. Nasa numerator yung liters mo. So, ano yun kaya dyan? We have to use the 1 liter over 1.06 quarts. Then, set up. You can now cancel the same unit quarts. Then, i-multiply mo ngayon yung 1 liter times 3.17. That is 3.17 liters. And i-divide mo ngayon by 1.06. Ilan ngayon yun? Very good. Correct. That is 2.99 liters. And that is now the number equivalent unit. Sa makatwid po, si 2.99 liters ay may katumba siya na 3.17 quarts. So, pag, pag niround up mo itong 2.99 liters, approximate ilan na yon 3 liters na yon Let's say, sa real life, di ba, binibilang tayo ng parent natin ng fresh milk, yung Alaska, di ba? Sa bawat yung uh, capacity ng isa niyan is 1 liter. So, ang katumbas ngayon yung 3.17 cores ay tatlong liters na yan ng fresh milk Alaska. Okay, next number 4. Convert 3.17 liters to cores. So, remember, write the equation. Kailangan ma-master po natin and then set a pattern agad. So, since the number given units mo, di ba, from liters, iti-change mo siya ng cores. So, anong unit fraction kaya ang aking ilalagay or gagamitin para ma-change ko siya? So, kailangan tandaan po natin yung liters nasa denominator para ma-cancel mo at yung numerator nandoon yung part. So, we have to use the 1.06 quarts over 1 liter. And then, you can now set up and i-cancel mo yung liter na sa unit and then i-multiply mo ngayon. So, 1.06 quarts times 3.7 is equal to ilan. Very good. You got it. Correct. 3.92 quarts. Nakaround up po yan sa two decimal places or hundreds place value. Sa makatwid po, yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Ibig sabihin, si 3.92 quarts ay may katumbas na 3.7 liters. So in real life, di ba, para makita natin para saan ba itong mga inaaral natin na to. So, like for example, yung parent mo or binigyan kayo ng, uh, ng regalo, no? yung micromatic pressure cooker. So, ang capacity po nito is 3.7 liters. Yun na yung katumbas ng ating nasa given. At kapag niround up mo yung sagot mo na 3.92 quarts, approximate 4 quarts na yon. So, ibig sabihin niyan, yung pressure cooker dyan, pwede ka mag-steam, mag, mag ng soup or rice. Yun po yung gamit. Okay, next number five. How many gallons are there in 18.9 liters? So remember, write the equation. Kailangan ma-master po natin. Since the number given units mo, di ba, from liters, gagawin mo siyang gallon. So ibig sabihin, anong unit fraction kaya ang aking gagamitin wherein yung denominator mo nandun yung liters para ma-cancel mo. At yung numerators yung gallon. Kaya nga, we have to use the 1 gallon over 3.79 liters. And you can now set up and cancel mo yung same unit na liters and then, i-multiply mo ngayon yung 1 gallon times 18.9. That is 18.9 gallons. So, yun. I-divide mo by 3.79. Ilan ngayon yun? Very good. Correct. That is 4.99 gallons. So, ibig sabihin po, yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa makatuwid po, si 4.99 gallons ay may katumbas na 18.9 liters. So, pa-approximate, di ba? Pag niround up mo yung 4.29 gallons, magiging 5 gallons na siya. Sa real life, para makita natin, di ba? Let's say, bumili kayo ng red steel 5 gallons gas, di ba? So, naubusan. Pang-reserve nyo to, lalo na ngayon. Okay? So, yan po yung ating capacity. 5 gallons. Yung ating 18.9 liters. Next, number six, convert 52.8 gallons to liters. Remember, write the equation. Kailangan ma-master po natin ito. Set up pattern. Since the number given units mo, di ba? From gallons, gagawin mo siyang liters. So, anong unit fraction kaya ang aking ilalagay sa parenthesis? Wherein, kailangan ma-cancel mo yung gallons. Ibig sabihin po, yung gallons nasa denominator at yung liters nasa numerator. Kaya nga, we have to use the 3.79 liters over 1 gallon. Kaya nga, we have to set up and then cancel the same unit yung gallon. Then, multiply mo ngayon yung 3.79 liters times 52.8 that is how many? Very good. Correct. That is 200.11 liters. Ibig sabihin po, yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Sa makatwid, si 200.11 liters ay may katumbas na 52.8 gallons. So, so in real life, di ba, para makita natin yung ating 
uh, gamit sa ano no like for example yung heavy duty lalo ngayon di ba umuulan so kailangan ka mag-ipon ng tubig ilan yung capacity ng ating drum so that is 200 liters ibig sabihin niya na po yung 52.8 gallons na katumbas okay so with that you are going to answer the question number one for your assessment ready go Your answer, the answer is letter, very good, letter A, 347.77 cubic inches. Remember, di ba, ang calculate the displacement. Pag sabi displacement, yung total volume ng cylinders through which the pistons move, pag nag-move siya, of a 5,700 milliliters or ML. So, automobile engine in cubic inches. Ibig sabi, pag kinonvert mo yan, yung ML to cubic inch, gumamit ako ng unit fraction na 1 cubic inch over 16.39. Kung baga, ang ginawa lang, dinivide lang yung 5,700 by 16.39. Kaya nakuha yung ating letter A na sagot. Next number 2. Ready? Okay, let's check your answer. The answer is perfect. You got it? Letter C, 33.02. Nakaround off yan na sa the nearest hundreds place value or two decimal places. So, remember, the total capacity yung tatlong cans is 35 quarts. So, i-convert mo yan sa liter. So, ang ginamit po dyan is yung ating unit fraction na 1 liter over 1.06 quarts. Kung baga, yung 35, dinibide siya by 1.06. Kaya nakuha po yung ating letter C na sagot. Okay, next, for the last one, number three. Ready? Okay, let's check. The answer is perfect. You got it. Letter B, 13.19 gallons. Remember, ang problem dyan, yung volume for a kitchen trash can, no, is 50 liters. So, ilan ngayon yung gallons of trash can this hold? So, ibig sabihin po, ang ginamit po dyan is yung unit fraction na 1 gallon over 3.79 liters. Kung baga, dinivide lang din siya by 50 divided by 3.79. Kaya, that is letter B, 13.19 gallons. So, with that, so you are going to answer the assignment. Convert the following units of capacity or volume in metric to English system and English to metric system. Copy and answer with solution, ha? On one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Copy. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something and keep on learning, everyone. Bye-bye and keep safe.